Some of the things I'm probably going to say are going to offend a lot of the audience. But uh, I grew up in the days of gang fighting and the days, the gang fighting is meaning each neighborhood had gangs. The Italians had gangs, the Irish as well, and they all beat up each other. But what offends me most is today's political arena allows so-called educated people on both sides of the spectrum to not be able to come together and bring about some kind of cohesive you know, a, a reaction to the, the problems that we're experiencing in the world. Donald Trump is our president. Did anyone hear that? He is our president. No, see, my argument was that back in the day when blacks were oppressed and I was desperately trying to learn my ABCs, I was taught I had to deal with my enemy. Some of you may have ancestors that were my enemies out there. But the fact is, I didn't go off half-cocked. And I feel that educated people should be able to come to this president with an agenda and sit down because he is the, a, a man that claims to be a compromiser. Now, unfortunately, he may, having been birthed and raised in Queens, not have the social skills to sit in the right. <laughs> but, but then again, we used to say that about Brooklyn people too. And so, I mean, because you know, whenever when someone came from Brooklyn to Manhattan, they would always say, I'm going to the city. So, you know what so, so what I'm trying to say is that he needs guidance. We need guidance. No, 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 no. We need guidance. Right now, China and Russia, and isn't it ironic that right, the left is claiming Russia is a bad thing when just in my growth period, I had heard that Russia was great. They even would often say, why, you even had Paul Robeson who loved Russia, which he was never a communist, by the way. He never admitted to being a communist. So, uh, look, cut me off with a oh boy. <laughs> But the fact is that uh, my, 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 my true argument is we've got to save this country. For example, yes. state rights are important today. But if state rights were important years ago, I'd still be uh, cleaning your slop buckets and shining your shoes. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, I mean, we've got to get, you know, back in the day, a lot of my teachers were former socialists. A lot of them were Jewish. And they became conservative. But you know what was great about them? They knew education. They knew how to correct you and direct your ideas and ideals in a way that you could at least defend them. I'm looking for people left and right, black and white, to present arguments that they can defend. Unfortunately, when Trump, and unfortunately this comes from Trump, the press sucks. <laughs> Thank you, Bobby. Right on.